Okay, today is another part of my 3D printed tooling series, whatever I call it here. So, I'm going to show you how I made this little piece here. This is for um, holding down, I've got it sized for holding down a 3 8 uh, fuel line and 3 16 brake line. So, you'll see how nicely it fits just perfect okay so the tool is right there it's already in it looks like this this is actually a, a bad one some of my stuff didn't line up quite right but the 3d printed piece is like this I just made it three quarter inches wide I believe it's three quarter inches tall to here um, three inches long I did that so um, I'm built a steel block to house it just to keep it from flexing um, I'm not sure if flexing would be an issue or not but I just kind of did it to to plan for the future I guess so now anytime I need to make a little press feature like this that I can do on say a half inch wide strip which is what I did this for it's three quarter inches wide but I'm only using a half inch strip in it um, I can just make it if it fits within the three inches, which just about anything that you could imagine would. Um, I've got this one spaced so it'll have a, uh, a bolt hold down in the very center of it. Um, anyway, I can just, all I have to do is just print another, another you know, of these two blocks of whatever dimension or um, situation that I want and just put it back in in the steel block and press away so I've already got a piece sitting here um, when I first did this I I put dowel pins in to line it up which the next one I'll do um, I'll scoot everything over a little bit and and make it so it's got a little bit more more meat it was in the edge of things and they kind of blew out. So I'm just going to uh, place it in place and uh, go from there instead of actually aligning it. Aligning it makes it a little bit easier. So, so as I've said, I've already I've already used this and I already know where my alignment is and also in the future I think I'll put a little uh, a little ledge for a stop it would make this a little bit easier um, so that you can just push push your material up against that ledge and uh, yeah this is I used this already in a press break at work. It was a lot easier. Because all the stuff was bolted in instead of holding everything like this. But we're going to see what we can get done here. Okay, I'm going to get some pressure on it and then I'll readjust the camera. Yeah, this was a lot easier the other day. Okay, that might work. Okay. I think that'll work. Okay, let's 
see if I can get this shortened down. think you can maybe see okay down until it pressurizes I got it crooked. Okay. Screwdriver. Yeah, all the monkeying around made it go crooked a little bit. Let's see if we can see it here. Really good shape still, just crooked. I'll do another one really quick. See if I can get it straight. Having a little bit of ledge on it or some alignment. The alignment pins in the right spot would definitely be a good thing. For what I'm doing with this, uh, it doesn't really matter. I need a three of this size, and then uh, then I'll be going to a different configuration um, where my fuel lines are by the brake lines. It's uh, I only need three of them, so I've already got two made. So, if I can come up with one more good one right here, I'll be done with this, and then I'll print some different configurations for holding this stuff a little bit differently. Okay. That's probably okay. Yeah, I'm going to go on record here and say this is a super pain in the butt without the alignment pins, but when those alignment pins were in, the first the first hit, it was great. But then it squeezed out cuz I had them too close to the edge. One of those things I knew better, but I thought for as many pieces as I was going to make, it would be fine. But it's not. Okay. Pressure. Let's see if this one's straight. Yeah. A little bit crooked, not too bad. It's usable. Hmm. Anyway. So then I'll just put it in the drill press and drill a hole in it. Uh, you could do that beforehand if you really wanted to, but no sense in it, in my opinion. Just put it in the vise and drill a hole in it. Good day.